Hi guys, welcome to SimProof. Try speaking here and this time I have a little architectural experiment for you because I was thinking about how much space does a sim really need to be happy in their own four walls. So I decided to make the smallest starter home as possible. So I decided to do and call it a micro home. And this is my first micro home because I had so much fun building it. I think I'm going to build some more and everybody out there who likes micro homes or like this one, maybe you want to build some too and uh, then we share it on the gallery. This would be really, really fun. So it is really, really tiny and it has everything a sim needs. And because it's that tiny, I had enough money to buy some more expensive things that usually don't get into my starter homes. For example, it has a TV now. Usually I don't put TVs in my starter homes and it has, I guess, the more expensive stove, for example. So you could really experiment with what you want to have there and what kind of quality. I was thinking about maybe next time I do put a better bed in there because sims always get very, I guess, tired and uh, a little more stressed and they don't have a very com comfy bed. So yeah, that's why I will put another bed in there later. And yeah, so it has a little kitchen corner and a little sleeping area as you can already see and um, of course it's still very modern. And uh, since the bed with the covering had this grey wooden color, I decided to put the grey wooden wallpaper in there as well. So the furnishing fits a little bit more to the, you know, wallpaper color. So, um, yeah, it has a little kitchen area. S two sims can live there. I've really tested it and you will see um, me testing it with a sim there as well so i know it's not too narrow for them and they can reach everywhere you know the sims can't even walk a normal path if there is a book on the floor that sims logic so i had to test if they really can use everything in there and sit on every couch and um, little piece and so on so you can really play with this and uh, yeah i really like it very much and i thought about Maybe next time it would be cool to make a little micro home that has two levels maybe. Um, or maybe for the different aspirations or something. I, would, I really would like to do that because starter homes, I already did so many starter homes and I love them very very much. I love the challenge building starter homes that look good. and. Yeah, and I do so many that I don't have the challenge anymore somehow. It's getting a little bit boring and this is why I came up with a micro home. It looks maybe you could maybe maybe you could do a micro home that looks like a micro rave. That would be cool too, I think. So uh two sims can live there as I've already said. It has a very big bed for two sims, a bathroom with a shower and two little, how are they called, bar stools to sit on so they can eat at their little um, kitchen counters there in the middle of the kitchen island, I guess they call it in English. And yeah, they even have a little TV and I think they can watch TV from the bed, I don't know. That's the one I haven't tested but maybe you can write it in the comments if you've downloaded it. You can find it in the Sims 4 gallery under my EA account ID Simproved or under the name Microhome. And yeah, it has everything your sim needs. So there you can see me testing it. And <laughs> it's pretty funny because I had to rearrange everything, but they can use the fridge and the stove and everything works fine. And yeah, this is uh, how it all worked out. So my little, little challenge, genetics challenge sim is living there. And then at the end I thought, okay, there are like a lot of windows in there. And I can remember that in my cubic starter house build, speed build, some people wrote, there are a lot of windows there. Maybe you should put some shades in there. So the sims have a little bit more privacy. And of course I agree. So at the end I had some 
money left and that's why I will put some columns on the one side of the house and put some flowers there like a little garden so it is very compact and you in game you can like put it wherever you want maybe like a pool house even like I don't know but this would be really really nice and um, I thought yeah maybe we could like put some privacy in there by um, putting some bushes on the side so not everybody who walks in the neighborhood can look inside but I really like the thing that there are like these really really big windows in there so it looks almost like a little glass house from one side and I thought this is pretty pretty cool I thought this would be a right, really good idea so at first I really thought okay maybe that's really not so nice and not so good looking but I really like the experiment about it. I usually always experiment in The Sims 4 with my builds and they don't come up as a video but a lot of people in the gallery because I uploaded it in The Sims 4 gallery and they told me that it's really cool to have a micro home that's small and uh, they've never seen one before and I haven't googled it, maybe there is like a micro home in the uh, Sims 4 gallery, I don't know, but I'm, I'm pretty pretty amazed how it turned out and I really hope you like it as well. If you have any questions about it or if you have some comments, write them in the comment section below. I will always try to answer them all and yeah, thank you very very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye!